first thing we have to do when we're using a splicing nut is to prepare the end of the line. Here you see a burnt end. We don't want that when we're doing a splicing nut. Instead, we want to take it and tape it. You tape it tightly, putting tension on the tape as it goes around. You do this so that the line will pass easily through the hole. Then all you have to do is cut it. But instead of cutting it in the middle, we want to cut it with just a quarter of an inch, just a quarter of an inch of tape. So here we go. Now that is ready to install in our splicing nut. Note that we didn't cut the line in the middle. Instead, we left just a small segment, and that's all that's needed because the splicing nut provides its own whipping. Now that we've prepared our end, we need to get a little product familiarization with the splicing nut core. The core is an integral part of the product, and on the core you're going to find numbers and arrows to guide you through the steps. Also on the instruction card, you'll find those numbers and those arrows. It's important that you follow those numbers and arrows because the teeth are highly directional. As you can see, the teeth have a distinct orientation, and you must follow those correctly. Again, read the instructions and follow the numbers. Now that we're familiar with the core, it's time to slide the nut onto the line. So now the next step is to slide any hardware you want to attach. It could be a shackle, a becket of a block, or a fender. Simply place it on now at this time. So now what we need to look at on the core is something that we didn't talk about before. The core has three grooves. You can see all three grooves here, but only two of them go all the way through. The other one has a stop on it. Now, with your left hand and your thumb and your forefingers, Grab the splicing nut with the two grooves with the stop on top, the stop on top. Taking the line, place it next to the stop on top where the number one is indicated. Now we're going to follow our number and arrow as we wrap it around. Change to your right hand. Slide the hardware into position. Change to your left hand. Now, slide the nut down. And after you find the thread, work the nut back and forth, back and forth. Similar to a motorcycle throttle, back and forth. This isn't hard, and if it becomes hard, you should back it off back and forth as you're threading down. This isn't hard, just keep working it down. As you work it down, the line gets worked into the thread. And there you are. You have finished the job.